Working in progress. Hello, everybody. So this lesson we're doing family and friends. Family and friends. Please get your family and friends ready. We are starting in our first book, life book. And we are going all, all the way to page, let me get this, 74, page 74, you see, 74. So let me get to page 74. This one. Here we go, page 74. 74, unit 10, a new friend. Ooh. Okay, so first we have a video to watch. Let's watch our video. Family and friends, multi rom one. Unit nine. Listening 102. Listen and point. Okay, so first we're going to listen and point. We must point in our book. Long. Long. Short. Short. Blonde. Blonde. Brown. Brown. Curly. Curly. Straight. Straight. Curly. Curly. Long. Long. Brown. Brown. Blonde. Blonde. Straight. Straight. Short. Short. Listen and repeat. So now we're going to listen and repeat. Long. Long. Short. Short. Blonde. Blonde. Brown. Brown. Curly. Curly. Straight. Straight. Listening 103. Listen and chant. Next, we're going to listen and chant. Long, long, long. Short, short, short. Blonde, blonde, blonde. Blonde, blonde, blonde. Brown, brown, brown. Brown, brown, brown. Curly, curly, curly. Curly, curly, curly. Straight, straight. 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 Okay. So next, let's go over the words ourselves. So first one, we have long. Next, we have short. Next, we have blonde. Next, we have, I'm going to get my mouth, all right, brown. Next, we have curly. Next, we have straight. So, can you tell me, students, what kind of hair do you have? For example, I have short, straight, brown hair. So, my hair is short. Straight and it's brown. What air do you have? Okay, let's move on. Okay, next, we need to listen and read. So first we listen, then we read. 104. Listen and read. I've got a new friend. Look, this is Alice with her teddy. She's got curly.
curly hair. Yes, and she's got blue eyes. My new friend is Adam. He's got curly hair too, but he hasn't got blue eyes. Look over there, it's Adam. And he's with Alice. Are you friends? We're brother and sister. We're cousins. And now we're all friends. Okay, let's read all together. Get it open. Go. Okay, so number one. Sorry, students, my, my mouse up here. Okay, number one. I've got a new friend. Look, this is Alice with her teddy. She's got curly hair. Yeah. And she's got blue eyes. My new friend is Adam. He's got curly hair too. But he hasn't got blue eyes. Look over there. It's Adam. And he's with Alice. Are you friends? We're brother and sister. We're cousins. And now we're all friends. Okay. So Alice, there's Alice and Adam are brother and sister. And their hair is brown and curly. But Alice has blue eyes. Okay, next one. We are on page do 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 page 75. 75. Okay, so we need to read. We've done, listen, and say again and repeat. Yes, done that. Now we need to do number two, look and say. We're going to look and read. So the first one says, he's got short hair. He hasn't got straight hair. Next one. She's got blue eyes. She hasn't got brown eyes. Our next one. It's got black eyes. It hasn't got long hair. Okay, so first thing. He's got means he has got. Hasn't got means has not got. So he's got means yes. Hasn't got means no. Okay, next student. When you see he's and hers, that means a boy or a girl. When you see it, it's a non-living thing. That means it's not a boy or a girl. For example, it's a table, it's a chair. Over here, it's a teddy bear. Okay. So next, we're going to go to exercise three. We're still on page 75. We need to write got or hasn't got. So let's look at number one. Number one says, he's got blonde hair. So yes, he's got blonde hair. Next one, number two. She, hmm, straight hair. Does she have straight hair? Yes. So we're going to write got. So it's going to say, she's got straight hair. So number two, she's got straight hair. And next one, 
number three. Int hmm, blue eye. Does it have blue eye? No. So for no, we're going to write hasn't got. Number three, it hasn't got blue eye. Number three, it hasn't got blue eye. And our last one, number four. He, hmm, curly hair. Does he have curly hair? No. So no, we write, hasn't got. So he hasn't got curly hair. Remember student, if I'm going too fast, you may pause the video. Okay, next student, we need to get our progress so we are in our workbook and we are on page 73 73 you see at the bottom 73 okay so we need to write the words in the correct box so our boxes are we have room clothes and food so our first one is bedroom that goes in the room Next one, we have pineapple, and pineapple goes under food. Very good. Next one, we have living room. Living room goes under room. We're going to write living room. Next one, we have track two. We're going to write track suit under clothes. Remember, student, in going too fast, you may pause the video. Okay, next we have sock. Now, where does sock go? Sock go under clothes. Very good. Our next one, we have hair. Hair goes under food, hair. Next, we have bathroom. Bathroom goes under room. And you see in the word bathroom, we have the word room. So we know it goes under room. Next one, we have cherries. Cherries go under food. We write cherries under food. Next, we have dress. Dress. Dress goes under clothes. Next, we have grapes. Grapes. Grapes go under food. Grapes go under food. Next one, we have kitchen. Now, does kitchen go under rooms or clothes? It goes under room. Kitchen goes under room. So, rooms is finished and Food is finished, which means trousers goes under clothes. So let's go over everything one more time. Under rooms, we have bedroom, living room, bathroom, kitchen. Under clothes, we have tracksuit, sock, dress, trousers. Under food, we have 
pineapple, pear, cherries, great. Okay, let's go to number five. Order the words. We need to put the words in the correct order. Let's have a look at number two. Number two, our words are his cardigan is this. So we need to start with a capital letter. So our capital letter will be is. So our sentence is is this his cardigan. So we can write is this his cardigan. Next one, number three. Our words are in dining room, she's the. So we start with a capital letter, so she, so she's in the dining room. So we're going to write she's in the. Dining room. Next one, number four. Our words are got, drink, I've, uh. So we start with the capital, which is I've. I've got a drink. So we can write. I got a drink. Next one, number five. This is only three words. Our words are my, where's, sister. Start with the capital. So where's my sister? Where's my sister? Our last one, number six. Number six. We have upstairs is grandma. So we need to start with our capital. Now we have is and grandma, both are capital. So it's going to start with is. So our sentence is is grandma upstairs? So is grandma upstairs okay let's go to number six number six we need to write the following sound so we have ch sh and pa so let's look at number one. Number one's finished. Number one is cat. Number two, we have ch, chick. Number three, we have ha, hat. Ha, hat. Number four, we have sh, shoes. And our last one, number five, we have s so far. Okay. Pause the video if you're not finished. We are going to page 74. Page 74. Okay, page 74. Page number 74, unit 10, a new friend. Number one says you need to draw and color yourself. So draw yourself. There I am. Draw a picture of yourself. Draw yourself. Okay, pause the video. If you're not finished, we're going to number two. 
Number two says, look at your picture, read and circle. Okay. Number one says, my eyes are, oh my, my eyes are, are my eyes blue? No. Are my eyes brown? No. Are my eyes green? Yes. So I circle green. You circle the color of your eyes, not my eyes, your eyes. So if you have brown eyes, you circle brown. If you have blue eyes, you circle blue. If you have black eyes, you circle black. Okay, number five. My hair is. My hair is black? No. Brown? Yes. Number two, what color is your hair? My hair is brown. Number three, my hair is straight or curly. I have straight hair, so I circle straight. And last one, my hair is long or short. My hair is short, I circle short. If your hair is long, you circle long. Next, we need to write, write. What color are your eyes? Now remember, this is for you, not me, for you. So look at number one and number one over here. There, what color did I circle? I circled green, I'm going to write green. If you circled brown, you write brown. There, brown. Number two, what color is your hair? We go to number two, my hair is brown. I'm gonna write brown. It's brown. If your hair is black, you write black. If your hair is blonde, you write blonde. If your hair is red, you write red. Next one. Is your hair long or short? It's number three. Number three. So for number three, we need to look at number four. No, it's a little backwards. Okay, so we're gonna write it's hmm. So for me, it's short. If your hair is long, you write it's long. And our last one, number four. Number four, we look at number three. Is it curly or straight? It's straight. So I circled straight. It's straight. If you circled curly, you are right. It's curly. Now remember, students, this is for yourself, not me. Don't color in me. Don't draw me. Draw yourself. Okay, once you are finished, you can go to page 75. Okay, so page 75, we need to read, draw, and color. Now let's look at number one. Number one says, this is Sarah. She's got blue eyes. So color in her eyes blue. Next, it says, she's got long hair. It's straight and blonde. So next, we are going to draw straight, long, blonde hair, like that. Blonde is yellow. It's a yellow color. So we want long, straight, blonde hair for Sarah. When you are finished, we're going to go to number two. Number two. This is Rick. 
he's got green eyes. So we're going to color in his eyes green. He's got short hair. It's curly and brown. The next we're going to draw curly brown hair. Curly brown hair. Okay, when you are finished, let's go to number two. Number two, we've got to write, we've got to look at the picture and write. So remember, got means yes, hasn't got means no. So let's look at number one, which is done for us. It says, Sarah hasn't got brown eyes. She's got blue eyes. So number two. She's got long hair. She hasn't, remember hasn't is for no, hasn't got short hair. Number three, she hmm, curly hair. Does she have curly hair? No. So we're going to write, she hasn't got curly hair. She, hmm, straight hair. Does she have straight hair? Yes. So we're going to write, she's got straight hair. So it's got. Number four. She, hmm, blonde hair. Does she have blonde hair? Yes. So we're going to write, got. So she's got blonde hair. Our next one's going to be, she, hmm, black hair. Does she have black hair? No. So we're going to write, she hasn't got black hair. When you are finished, we're gonna to go to number five. Number five, Rick, hmm, brown eyes. Does Rick have brown eyes? No, he's got green eyes. So we're gonna write, Rick hasn't got brown eyes. He's got green eyes. Okay, next one, number six. He, hmm, short hair. Does he have short hair? Yes. So he's got short hair. He hasn't got long hair. We're almost finished. Four left. Number seven, he, hmm, curly hair. Is his hair, is his hair curly? Yes. So he's got curly hair. He hasn't got straight hair. And our last one, number eight. He, hmm, blonde hair. Hair is not blonde, so he hasn't got blonde hair. He's got brown hair. When you are finished, you may close your book because we are finished. Okay, pause the video if you're not finished. I'm about to stop the share. Okay, so thank you very much, everybody. I will see you Friday. Bye-bye.